Here we're going to go through an example to determine the type of lease based on lease testing criteria here. And we're going to be looking at it from the lessee's perspective here. And it's either going to be recorded as a capital lease here or as an operating lease. And the test criteria that we're going to go through here would be the four test criteria that you would use for determining if it's a capital lease here or as an operating lease. So uh, first, the lessee to record it as a capital lease, it must be the lease must be non cancelable and it must meet one or more of the four criteria that we're going to look at here. Otherwise, it would be classified as an operating lease. So, looking at our lessee's test criteria here, uh, first criteria is there a transfer of ownership with this lease here? Second criteria uh, is there a bargain purchase option? And then, thirdly, is the lease term greater than 75% of the economic value? And then, number four here, test would be the is the present value of the minimum lease payments greater than or equal to 90% of the fair value of this of the leased asset here now if we can answer yes to any one of these criteria here any one or more of the criteria it would be classified as a capital lease and if it's if the answer comes up no for each one of these test criteria it would be uh, uh, classified here as an operating lease so first going over to our uh, lease arrangement that we'd have here and I'm only going to touch on the items that to affect this example. So we have a yearly rental rate here of $12,000 per year. And then the lease term here is for tw third, 20 years. And then the estimate esti estimated economic life here of the leased asset is 30 years. And then we don't have any purchase option or uh, bargain purchase option, so there's none in this example here. And then the fair market value of the leased asset here at the lease start date is $120,000. And then the cost of the asset to the lessor here is $120,000. So the fair market value here uh, 120,000 equals the cost here of 120,000. And then next would be the incremental borrowing rate here for the lessee. And that's 12% here. And then we're going to determine the present value of the minimum lease payments using that incremental rate here. We're going to determine it to be $100,389. So now let's go up and do our testing here. So first we're going to look at the transfer of ownership here. Well, it's given in this example here that the lease does not transfer any ownership here so and then secondly well it failed that test so we go on to our next test here uh, the bargain purchase option and we were given here again that uh, there is no bargain purchase option here so it would have failed that test here so we go on to our next test here the lease term greater than 75 percent of the economic life so let's go look at how we test that here so we have an economic life test here so is the lease term greater than 75 percent of the economic life so the lease term in this case was 20 years, economic life here 30 years, so you divide uh, the 30 years here into the 20 years and you get 66.6% here of the, for the economic life test. So it's less than the 75%. So it, it failed the test here. It, it had to be, the least, it would have, the least term would have to be greater than 75% here of the economic life. So Again, we fail this test here, so we would have to move on to our next test, and that's the present value of those minimum lease payments. Are they greater than or equal to 90% here of the fair market value? So the first thing we have, let's go and calculate the present value of those minimum lease payments. So we have the 12% incremental borrowing rate here, and we have 20 years here on the lease. Payments are $12,000, so we discount those back here uh, using the incremental borrowing rate of 12% and then the 20-year uh, lease here. Uh, and discounting them back, the present value of those minimum lease payments are $100,389. So the next thing we have to do is we have to compare it to uh, 90 this 90% 90 hurdle right here of the fair of a market value. So our fair market value here of the leased asset at the beginning of the lease was $120,000. Our test rate being 90% here, so 90% of the $120,000 gives us $108,000 here. That would be 90% here of the fair market value of that leased asset. Now we would compare that to the present value of those minimum lease payments here of $100,389. And that is our recovery of our investment here. So we're going to determine that this present value is less than the uh, 
90% here of the fair market value and that means it's going to fail the test because it has to be greater than the present value of this minimum lease payments has to either be greater than or equal to 90% here of the fair market value of the leased asset. So uh, first here uh, we could look at it in these terms where the $100,389 uh, those minimum lease present value minimum lease payments is less than the hundred and eight thousand dollars the ninety percent here of the fair market value or we can look at it here where we have the hundred thousand three hundred eighty nine dollars here of present value of the lease payments divided by the uh, fair market value here of hundred twenty thousand dollars and that would equal eighty three point seven percent which is less than the ninety percent um, hurdle rate here uh, for the test so therefore it fails the test. So uh, we have now not passed any of those four tests here so that w that means here we're classified as an operating lease here. So these four tests that we looked at here the transfer of ownership, this bargain purchase option, the lease term greater than 75 percent of the economic life and the present value of the um, uh, lease payments here has to be greater than 90% of the fair value. These are the four test criteria that you would be using here for the less lessee when you're determining if it's a capital lease or an operating lease. And if we can answer yes to any one of these four tests here, any one or more of those four tests, it would be a, a classified as a capital lease here for the lessee. Otherwise it would be classified here as an operating lease if you fail all of these tests. And again, if the lease fails all of the tests for the lessee, uh, for the, the criteria for determining whether it's a capital lease here, therefore, then it would be again classified here as an operating lease. And for example, here we're uh, we're going to both the lessee and the lessor are going to be using this as an operating lease here. But we went through it here from the lessee's perspective.